I've got here my metric micrometer. And I'm going to test there, see if that's zeroed. Bang on. So this click in here, this cam, that means you should not turn it any further. So when you're measuring something between these two jaws here, obviously you can use the thimble just to turn that down quicker and then use this to take your measurement, all right? You should not use that to take your measurement because you can over crank it. That's usually why these micrometers become uh, out of calibration. Right then, let's get this done before my battery dies on my phone. Um, so, micrometer, metric micrometer. I, I, like I said, I always work in metric. I mean, you, you shouldn't do it if you're an engineer because it's, it's, it's most accurate, it's easy and simple. All right, so, uh, put a pointer. So, we have a, on the micrometer, we have a sleeve and we have a thimble and we have a ratchet, okay? And we have an anvil. So, for this, uh, lesson we're going to just be working with these here the sleeve so on the sleeve we have I think I can point it out excuse me 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 so we have three millimeters there right okay and in between the top one is half it's 0 0.5 and the bottom is a whole one so that's it. We have one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, four millimeter. Now on the, on here is this our microns, which is on the thimble. So we're going to zero this now. Okay, you should just when you're on your measurement, you should just barely see uh, the, the line there where the your, where your number is going to be. So we're going to rotate this round. As it rotates round, we go zero. We go five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It says zero, okay? It says, but that is 50. So if you just look to your left there, you can barely see that 0 0.5 mark. My hands are shaking like shit, aren't they? So just to the left there, you can see that 0 0.5 mark on there, right? So 50. Then we're going to go 55, 60. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Oh, that's one millimetre. All right, one millimetre. So again, one, one millimetre. So we're going to go 1.50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Bang on there, right? That's 1.5, all right? Um. So when we go in between here, these little microns here, so 1.5, so let's say you want 1.54, 1.54, okay, so 1.5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, you just see that there, right, so I've put my little valve shim in there, I'm trying to measure some now for, for what I need, I'm going to close this down, I'm going to close it with the, um, with the thimble and show you what you shouldn't be doing. Close it with a thimble. So I'll close that with a thimble and it appears we have one point. So do you know what that is? 1 1.5, 0, 55, 60, 65. That would read 1.65, wouldn't it? But it's not 1.65. I've just clamped that down with a thimble. So very little pressure actually. So if I wind that off now, use a ratchet. There, that's actually 1.56. Is that if you do close it with a ratchet, you may have to just wind that in and check your zero again. It's okay, is that it's a good micrometer? Um, because you can you can um, bugger it up. One point, um, 1.56. So, oh, that's 1.55. Sorry. This one is quite small, so let's see if you can do this one. I'll leave it to you. What does that read? One point five eight. I got there. One point five eight. What does that one read?
nice my shaky hands so we've got you see the zero there 1.50 Five one five two one point five two. Um, so always remember if you can just barely see, if you can just barely see that point five. Oh, sorry, bloody hell. If you can just barely see that that point five mark, then you're you're measuring beyond it. Okay. So if this was again, if this was zero, it'd almost be covered up. My camera skills aren't good. It would almost be covered up if it was under point five. Get that shit. If it was under 0.5, so now you now you are 0.45. Okay. Sorry. 0 0.45, 0 0.40, 0 0.35, 0.34, 0.33, 0.32, 0.31, 0.30. Okay. So if you can see, once you rotate it round, and you can just barely see that that 0.5 mark on the um, sleeve, just on the above, then you know you're counting past 50, all right? So that's how you do it.